In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can convert one of these trucks into a upper glove box compartment. So you guys, if you have one of the base model trucks, might have a cubby that looks something like this. So I went ahead and picked up the parts along with a lot of other stuff that we're doing. So if you're new to the channel and you wanna see 8.4 Uconnect swaps and center console swaps and all that stuff, definitely make sure to hit the subscribe button. But I have the pieces here. I'm gonna link all the parts down in the description below for you guys. And I'm gonna show you guys the process of getting it done. So originally you'll have this here. And what you're gonna to need to do is purchase these parts because what happens is this comes out and then the inner glove box portion goes in. And the reason why you need to swap out to this one is because you can see there's a large cutaway portion here. Also, this is more recessed versus this one. Um, so this one is more of a finished trim, whereas this one sits in further to allow for the actual glove box lid uh, to be flush with the, your dash afterwards. Other thing too, is you're gonna see this little switch here, and this is for the glove box compartment light. So there's a little peanut style bulb in there. Also, you'll see the cutout for the latch so that the latch can engage on the actual door itself. Another thing you're gonna see too is it comes with the hinge and you're gonna see these four inserts here. And the reason why I point out the inserts specifically is because like you guys, I would wanna save some money too, but the thread on this is a very specific. Um, if you try to use like a self tapper or something like that, I'm sure you could probably drive one of these through or try to find some sort of, you know, screw that would fit. But in this case, even though it's probably going to be overpriced, I would recommend getting the factory screws because these actually have their own thread in there. I'm not sure what thread it is. I just went ahead and I had extra screws, uh, for this specific dash and these are threaded and I've spun one of these before and it's not hard to do because this insert this metal insert is just in plastic and you can spin it strip it and then you'll be in for a bad day so in this case i'm all for saving money but i would just go ahead and purchase some of these factory screws and then you'll also need the latch so this is going to go through and that way we have this latch that the door can engage on so as far as taking this out it is just held in by a bunch of speed clips around the perimeter right there. The only thing that is, however, holding it in is there is one of those screws underneath. So you'll have to get up underneath the dash and get to that one screw, and then this just pops straight out. So you might be able to wiggle it out, but you'll notice something's holding in the back. And if you're wondering what that is, it's that one screw right there. So let's go around on the passenger side and start getting to work. All right, so here we are at the truck. And if you guys have been following along with the channel, you will remember that we upgraded the dash from just a basic tradesman level dash to this leather stitched premium dash. And you're gonna notice that there is four holes right here. That's where the upper glove box is going to mount to. And you might be, I already know this question is gonna pop up, so I'll just answer it here. You're gonna say, John, I don't have a premium dash. You know, do I still have these four holes here? Let's go ahead, I'll walk over to the original dash we pulled out and I'll show you guys. So here's the original dash. You can see the plastic one, and there you go. There is the four holes right there that are needed for our upper glove box. And you'll also notice it's got the spot here, the two holes here for our latch. And this is gonna be the center console, it's going in. I'm just waiting for the rest of the pieces to show up. So to get to this right here, this is where the screw's gonna be from the underside, like I mentioned. You're gonna to need to take the glove box out. It's really easy. You're gonna see this little cord here. You take the cord off and then you just squeeze in on each side. You see that little post? And then it'll just fall out and you take it off. And that's how you're gonna access this screw right here. So first things first, we're gonna take our striker here, put it on and we'll install the two screws. So there we go, our striker is in place. Next up, you're gonna wanna locate your wire. So this is the wire that plugs into the switch for the light for this compartment. Um, your harness will have it, it might be taped up. In this case, it was taped up right around here somewhere. So just find it, it looks like this. It's this rectangular plug with two pins and uh, that way we can get ready to put that in. What we will have to do before the actual uh, box goes in though, is we gotta get in here to put these four screws in um, because that trim piece is gonna cover these screws. So the actual door has to go in first. So I already kind of messed with this before making this video. You really have to be like, it's, you kind of have to play a game to get this thing in here. Obviously it fits, but it is some wacky game you gotta play to get it in here. And uh, I'll show you guys right now. So here you go here, and like I said, it kind of like, I don't know, maybe somebody else has done this a bunch of times. Kind of have to like close it and then try to like get this lip to go over top. I'm 
sure there's probably a, some sort of magic trick to get this in, but I just know that I had to fiddle with it quite a bit to get this in here, but it does go in here. So there you go, you can see I got the one side. Okay, home stretch. All right, so there it is. Okay, if I can keep them both in the same place at once. All right, so there it is there. And I'm gonna go ahead and install our four screws. And like I said, if you're gonna risk using some sort of different screw, I would probably try to thread them in without this in place. And make sure you're not about to strip it because you would be in for a bad day if you end up spinning one of those nuts that's in the plastic there. Okay, so there it is just like that. So you can see it closes, hit the button, it pops up. So that's all in, it's just those four screws. So that part is good. Now let's go ahead and get the actual box in here and we'll plug in our light switch as well. You guys already know me, I like to convert everything to LED. So no better time than now to swap this out. So I'm gonna go ahead, just pop this out. I just squeeze both clips on there and I'm gonna convert this to LED fairly easily. I just think it looks better, so. I'll link these down in the description below where you guys can get the LED bulbs for a good price. There we go, so the LED is in there. Let's get this box in here. So I'm gonna set the camera down because we gotta plug this in and then this is as easy as just pushing this in afterwards and clicking all the speed clips in. All right, so here's the wire. There we go, and as you can see, she powers right up. We'll get this in here. All clicked in. And boom, that's it. So up to you if you guys want to install the screws from the back. I'm going to end up taking this whole thing apart anyways because, as you can tell, it says Laramie on it. And uh, I want to put a custom one here since, it, I don't know. So let me know what you guys think. Would you just leave the Laramie badge on here or change it? I know 99% of you are probably going to say change it. So I'm probably going to try to do something custom. I'll probably take this off and uh, you know change it out to something. Uh, but yeah, for now, it says Laramie on it. So there you go. We got the light in there. She closes. And I think that looks way better than just that cubby that was there before. So there you have it, guys. That is the install for that. Like I said, I'm going to be changing out the bezel here that converts us to our center console. So there's a different bezel that you saw over there that has a little flare piece that ties into our center console. And I'm also going to be starting probably tomorrow getting the brackets made for our Hellcat seats because the Hellcat leather seats with the stitching that actually is gonna match our dash. It's got the white stitching, so it's gonna look really, really good in there. I'm super excited. That's gonna be going down in the next day or so. So thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, I will link everything down in the description below for you guys. Check out the other videos. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. We've got a lot of exciting things on the way as well as the Hellcat engine that is gonna be just the icing on the cake for all this. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We'll catch you guys in the next video.